Alright guys, welcome back. So this video that I'm doing, I changed it up a little bit and after speaking to Craftneek and they told me exactly how to keep, you know, colorants and pigments from separating, they told me to use their bright tone. So I tried it out and it works amazing. For the pouring medium, I'm still using Glidden's Untinted Base. It's Semi-Gloss Base 3. That's what that looks like. And that gets mixed in with Craftneek's Bright Tone. This is like the best varnish you can get outside of resin. They're using it for instruments. There is a video on YouTube and it's the results are just amazing. So you might want to check it out. It is a hard curing varnish. It will handle a hot mug or a bowl of soup if you choose not to resin. But you have to put uh, several really thin coats. For the pouring medium, though, when it gets mixed with the untinted base, it the gloss it's still really glossy, but it's not the untinted base brings the gloss down. But if you're using this as a varnish, it's unbelievable. So I'll open it up in a second. But for my pillow, that my you know pouring medium puddles and the cell activator rests on, it's the Glidden Premium Semi Gloss Pure White Base One. So the bright tone is totally clear. When I if I grab a popsicle stick and I grab some out, it's it's almost like the consistency of a simple syrup. So it's a lot thicker than what I've been using. And for colorants or you know color art primary elements. Stuff like that. I really like it because once you mix this with the untinted base, it thickens a lot more than anything else I've ever dealt with. So if I'm using like straight up acrylics and stuff, I might I might go with the gel stain. But for micas and colorants, this is my new go-to. I couldn't believe the results. I'm gonna mix it for you real quick just so you can see exactly how I do it. It is one part of the bright tone. So I'm doing a tablespoon, just like that. And then my untinted base, which I already have in here, I'm going to do, I start off with three parts, okay? Because if I need to add more, then I can add more, you know, into my colorants. Because each colorant is different, depending on whether you're using high flows, craftniques are seriously opaque, so you can go the extra mile and put, um, you know, a fourth part in there and thicken it up. The micas, uh, depending on the color... Or I'm sorry, the color art pigments, depending on the color of them, the darker ones tend to be able to handle more of the untinted base. The lighter ones need less. If it's really thin, then you know you need to back off on the untinted base. If it's really clumpy and thick at first, then you know it can handle more of that untinted base. Because the base 3 is made for dark paints. So the more base you go, the more lighter your lighter color is going to get, but the darker colors are usually like dominant and true to their form. So anyway, that was two. One more is three. And then if you need to thin it out, you can add a little water. You can add a little more of the bright tone or varnish. You can, you know, I usually start off with a couple drops of water and if I need to go thinner, then I'll add some varnish. I just mix it up and you can see in a second just how thick and you know how thick it makes it so now you've got a really good pouring medium with um, the bright tone has the most binder in it out of all of their varnishes so it'll hold the metallics like if the predispersed mica pigments that you can get from craftneek that are already ready to go uh, it'll hold them and make them a lot thicker so just to show you you see it's really like gloopy and stringy so it's it's thick 
that's how we want it especially for the colorants you can go with any kind of varnish you know uh the bright tone is like top of the line so if you would like to purchase it i have all the links below in the description if you're using another varnish you consistency is key okay so this is a half a teaspoon i'm just gonna reach in and do this twice and it makes that really pretty bleed into the white which is gorgeous i also got these little spoons on amazon they go <laughs> they go really small and of course i have failed to wipe them out sometimes i'm going to add one part of a teaspoon would be a quarter but because Craftnik is so concentrated, I don't even need to fill that spoon up. But ultimately, you can just drop in there, but I'm just trying to show you for the sake of the tutorial. So that's about, I don't know, that's almost a quarter. And then I do want that phthalo blue green shade. So I'm going to add like two or three drops of the green. One, two, three. So this is also like a work in progress. So you ultimately can, you know, switch it up or add a little more, a little less, whatever. But there you have it. I mean, it mix, it mixes flawlessly. It's ready to go, seriously. And the same thing for the black. Uh, Craftnik's black, all of their colorants are strong enough to tint the untinted house paint. So as long as you have you know an imagination and you want to make some colors you know they have all different they are primary colors for the most part but i mean they, it also comes with like a recipe booklet of how to make other colors and i'm also working on getting a recipe down on a smaller scale for everybody but essentially that's the color you guys you know you can always wipe your spoon or whatever on a paper towel and you can see exactly what you're working with all right guys i do see two little wimpy tiles here but uh experimentation time all these colors you see here are craft neat this is their color shift i don't know if you can catch it in the light or not but it's freaking amazing it's really hard to see but it goes from like purple to pink to green to blue I do have my, you know, traditional cell activator, Amsterdam titanium white, one part of the Amsterdam to three parts of the Floetrol. And then I added, you know, like with this little, whoa, <laughs> when I add two drops of water, water's the heaviest liquid out of all of this. If you add it, you know, okay. I'm so nervous. I want this to work so bad. Have you ever guys, have you guys ever been like that? I probably shouldn't have the tiles. You know what? That was stupid. What was it? I don't know why I think some of the things that I do, it just kind of comes up in my head and I just kind of go with it. <laughs> if you're like dogs barking or ducks or whining in the background, <laughs> my dog is watching YouTube. <laughs> And it's funny because I walk into the room and he tries to act like he's not watching it. He looks right at me like, oh, I wasn't doing it. <laughs> but it's funny. There was a bunch of squirrels and birds on it the other day and he was just, whoo, he had a fit. <laughs> All right, well, let's do black first on this one, right? Here's the interference, which is going to dry clear. Usually on black, it makes it like a blue or a purple, which is just awesome, right? Almost looks like a panda. <laughs> and then here's the blue. God, that is so pretty, you guys. Like, okay. Let me stop. And just focus, Jen. You gotta focus. Our cell activator. Please work. I need you to work. Alright. Here we go. And it's working. Whoa, you guys, look at that. It's crazy. Look at it. <sighs> this is just so beautiful. They were right. They told me to use the bright tone, and I'm so glad that I did. Focus, man. Fuck.
focus. Do you see the purple? Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. shift it's coming soon you guys from craft neek it is fantastic you can tint it and mix it with anything and you'll get like a mystery color like like a scooby-doo color shift you know mystery <laughs> let me just stop let me just stop anyway here's the others oh my gosh they're doing so wonderful look at the sides man perfect no splitting, separating, nada. That's so beautiful. Mm. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to purchase any of Craft Neek's products and you have questions, you can always message me on Facebook. You can join our Art Addicts group on Facebook with Karen from Waterfall Acrylics and me. And um, it's a really great group with a bunch of great people. I will help you out the best that I can. I do offer private lessons. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe and help support my channel. I can't thank you enough for everybody who has. You're part of my crew. Till the day I die. <laughs> anyway, take care. Bye.